Hi, I'm Ashley Dawson. I'm one of the reference specialists here at the State Archives, and today we're going to be talking about vital records and how they can be used in your genealogy research. A vital record is simply a record of a life event, like a birth, death, marriage, or divorce. And in North Dakota, they're stored with the Division of Vital Records in the Department of Health, but we collaborate with them to host some indexes on our site that are useful and helpful for your genealogy research. Official birth and death records, birth certificates and death certificates, these records can only be obtained through the Division of Vital Records Department. You can use our indexes to locate your ancestor before getting there. It's important to know that these indexes are just indexes, not databases. If you find records you want to look at, they're only available on microfilm in our reading room. There are some restrictions that you need to know about these indexes. The first is that birth records are only included 125 years after the person has died. The State Historical Society and State Archives only has marriage records pre-1925. If your marriage is after 1925, that's still with the county they were married in. And death records are included in the index one year after the person has died. So some tips to help you make the most out of your search. Sometimes a name is misspelled or you're not exactly sure of the spelling. So if you think it might be Larson with an E or Larson with an O, we can search for both of those options with using the sounds like function. This gives you more options to look through and broadens your search from just one specific way to spell it to multiple ways to spell it. By selecting the details on the right hand side of the index, we'll pull up information on where it's held. See this one is with the Department of Health. If it says SHSND, that means the record is with us, the State Archives. Or if it says NDDOH, that's the Department of Health. So the record would either be with the Vital Records Department or the county. The details link is also where you will find role information, like the role number, the page number, the volume number, that would be used to find the record in our microfilm collection. If you don't find a record, and that doesn't mean it never happened. Using newspapers to fill the gaps may find unofficial records like marriage announcements, birth announcements, or death announcements. And as always, if you have any questions in your genealogy research, please contact us. And you can find our contact information on our website. Visit us at history.nd.gov forward slash archives.